In this video you will learn more about routing in Vue and how to use it correctly. Hi, I am Alexander Kocherhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a developer or improve your skills of being a developer in learning by doing way. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will link everything that I am mentioning in the description box below. And just to remind you, this video is the part of free series View for Beginners. So let's jump right into it. In previous video, we talked about watch and computed properties in Vue. Now I want to talk deeper about routes. So actually we know something already about our router. Our router is registered inside main.js with this use router thingy. And now we have our router inside index.js in router folder. And as you can see here, we have some routes and here we are creating router with history. But now I want to talk deeper about this name property, because we didn't use it anywhere and this is like super important. So what it is about? We have for example path slash and we are saying here the name home. And actually I prefer to name all names with the small letter, so here it will be home and for example if we have about page then it will be about. And for users, user with small u. And in this case it will be easier to use it everywhere. The question is why do we need name? The point is that for example you are creating links to some pages everywhere. For example we have a link to our path slash users. And if you will write in several places slash users and then at some point you want to change this slash users to some other route, then you need to go through your all places and change this. What we want to do is we want to use everywhere inside our routes and for example when we are doing programmatically routing like with push, we want to use this name users. And in this case actually we are not using path at all, which means we can simply change it later in one place here, we just change in the path and everywhere it still says users. So let's check how it will work. So what I want to do first is add some links. Actually inside our application would be nice to have a link to the home page and the link to our users. So actually I want to go inside app view and here add these links. Why here? Because app view is on every page because this is our layout and we want to have links here on the top everywhere. So to add links inside view we have a special element which is called route link. And normally you are writing here to and here for example slash. And now we are closing our router link and we are writing inside home. And as you can see in browser now we have a link to our slash route. And we can do the same for our users. So here is to slash users and here we are writing users. And normally people are starting to use router exactly like this. But this is a bad approach, because if you wrote like this 10 times and then you want to change this link to another link, you need to change it all back. And the point is that we can use here in two, not path, but name. Let's try this now. So we want first to put here colon, because it will be key binding to our property. And in this case we want to write inside an object, and here we can say name, and as a string home. Let's check it in browser. As you can see nothing changed and this is exactly the correct working URL. But in this case we are using router link with the name as an alias. And we can do the same here. We can write to and here is our object Oops, where we are providing name users. And in this case we will also have a correct URL but without usage of the path. So as you can see we can simply jump between two pages and everything is working. So I highly recommend you to always use this tool and name and not use just path because it is easier to change and actually it is easier to read because in this case we are reading our name which is alias and not a path because it can be really often that you have some name which is like development specific and then you have some path for production which actually is not related to your entities in development at all. And this is really quite common practice. This is why we want everywhere to use names.
In the same way we can use names when we want to do push. So let's say that after we add a new user here, we want to redirect user back to the home page. And we need it really often when, for example, you have a login or register and you want to redirect user after filling form to another page. And for this we can jump inside views and here is users, because here we have our add user, and actually here is our success request. So here we know that we successfully added our user. Now we want to redirect a user to home page. And for this we can write this, and here is dollar router. And dollar router is something that we have in every component, because we have here inside main.js this use router. This is why our this has router property and we can write here push. In this case we will redirect user to other page, for example home page. So again, we can write here of course path like slash, for example if we want home, but it's not good. We want here to use our alias that is possible. This is why here we are writing an object with name home. And in this case we are using everywhere names and not path. And let's check this out, we are here in users, now we are adding one more user, and we are hitting add, and in this case I am now inside our home page. So with router push we can redirect user from every component anywhere where we need to, and also we need to use name in order to avoid then changing path later. And one more thing that I want to show you is this route. So first of all we have this router everywhere inside our components, let's check this out. So here on mounted I will console log router, and this is this dollar router, and we also have route. And this is this dollar route, this is also coming from our view router. Now let's reload the page, and jump back inside users. As you can see we have a lot of stuff. First of all we have our router and here are lots of methods that we can use and secondly we have route. And as you can see here we have a lot of things which are related to our URL, like full path or for example name, params, query params, and we can use all these things and they are already prepared for us from view. This is why we don't need to parse something by ourselves like from window, we can simply use these properties. For example, let's say that we want to read query params from the URL. Let's say that we have here pagination, this is why here we have like page 5. And now we are reloading the page, and as you can see inside route we have first of all different URLs, and secondly we have here query, and now query is not empty object, but we have inside page 5. And as you can see, if we just write plain JavaScript, we need to parse URL on our own, because we are not getting in plain JavaScript some query params just like this. And view just simply gives us all this information inside query as an object, and obviously, with object is easier to work than with string. So this is why we can use this data inside. And it is really nice to combine all this stuff with computed properties. And here we have computed properties, if you don't have them then go check previous video, I will link it in the description box below. But what I want to do here is I want to create a computed properties based on our this route. For example let's say that we want computed property query params, and here we can simply return this dollar $route query. And now everywhere, for example inside our template, we can use this query params. So we simply render them, and we reload the page. Now as you can see, here inside template somewhere, I don't see it actually. Let's wrap it inside, for example, equal sign, so we can see it. As you can see here it is empty, query params is coming from not router, but route of course. So here we need to write a dollar route and not router, and in this case now, as you can see, we are getting the object with property page. So I can simply write here inside our template query params.page for example. And as you can see, this is 5. 
As you can see, it is really nice to use computed properties, even if you don't need to do some transformations inside. Because in this case, we are getting local variable query params, and locally we don't need to know that we get it from $route. Of course, we can write in template $route, but I am trying to avoid such things and just use local properties. In this video, you learned about view router as well as about router link. And actually you just need to use everywhere names and not just path. Also you can use them inside router link and you have access to your router and route inside component. And it is really nice to combine them together with computed properties. And if you for beginners course is too easy for you, don't forget to check my view advanced course, which is going 10 hours, where we're creating real view application from scratch. And I will link it down in the description box below, as well as all my other courses. And if you like my content and you want more videos like this, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video.